All right. So, Olivia, I'm asking you to come here and do the video with me because I tried this five times and just sitting in the room and staring at the video on my hard own not. is, yeah, it's very hard. But I want to tell people about what we did earlier this week. The Mixergy viral form, you were there, what did you think of good. it? It was very good. Yeah, I she surprised us with panelists that I didn't know were going to be there. I got more than my, more than my time's worth. You know what? And I did it because I wanted to connect with those panelists. I love these guys yeah. and I want to know them better and I want to learn from them. So here's a quick, if you weren't there, here's a quick, and by the way, you should have been there, but if you weren't there, here's packed. a quick summary. It you was might packed, have sat, right? sit on the floor. I'm always worried that we won't have enough guests at these events, but when I look out at the state, at the audience from the stage and I see that it's packed, I get excited. I really do. You know how worried I get before. I know. All right, so Olivia, here's, here's a quick summary. Otis Chandler of Goodreads, one of the things that he told us, and I'm going to give him one thing mm -hmm. for another speaker, one of the things that Otis told us was that if you have a friend's feature on your site, show that friend feature on every page that you have. That way, if somebody doesn't have any friends on your site, all they're gonna see is a big zero everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. And if they see a big zero everywhere, they're gonna feel the need to go and tell their friends and add friends to your site. So that's what helps make your site viral. Can I say one more thing yeah. Otis said? Uh -huh. Otis also said, make it worth your while to have friends on your site. So in the case of his company, Goodreads, if you have no friends on your site, you have no book reviews, no book recommendations from other people, so it's a really, stolid and lousy interaction. So that's another thing that applies to not all sites, but use it where when you can. All right, and by the way, one thing on the angle, are we just, it looks a little funny that we're hunched down, right? All right, it works. That, all I keep hearing in these interviews is it's gotta be raw. Did you suggest yourself? No. It's... All right then. <laughs> all right, next person, Ethan from M80. One of the things that he told us was that in the early stages of a viral campaign, it, pay, it pays to bribe your users. Basically, he said, give them an incentive to start spreading the word, and that helps kickstart your viral campaign. Right? Yes, he did say that. All right, and we're going to see later on how Jason Nazar, in his portion of the presentation, actually used that, That's and he did true. bribe people. I myself was bribed. I, yeah, me too. All right, Chris from iPressroom told us how to attach our content to what's in the news. So if you mm -hmm. in, if you attach your content to a big news story, when that news story spreads, your story, your content, your website's gonna piggyback off of that. All right, Neil Patel, first time that I ever met him, I actually invited him to this just so I could meet him. Rock star. So one of the things that he told us was that he hired monkeys. Do you wanna explain how he does this? Yeah, he hires um, college and high school interns. And to that's who he calls monkeys, right? Monkeys to basically manage his social networks, to friend other people, to maintain his friends. And he goes through a couple of days of training with them to make sure that they're doing the right messaging, right tone, everything's on par. And then he just lets them loose with still some supervision. But, but the, the most important thing is that oh. he <laughs> hires these people. I forgot that. <laughs> he hires these people to pretend to be him on social oh, networks. Yes, yes. They interact with social with people on social networks. It seems like Neil Patel is building up his, his audience that way. Um, and then when it's time for him to promote something, he has a big audience that they, right. that they helped him build up. Does that make sense? Perfect. All right, good. That was a hard one. When I did this on my own, just staring to the camera, that was a really hard one for me to explain. All right, but when I've got somebody else's... All right, finally, Jason of Docstock, at the end, after he gave us a bunch of great ideas for how to, how to make your site more viral, he said, let me show you guys how it works. He turned to the audience and he said, if anyone uh, Twitters out this message, he's mm -hmm. gonna give them a free gift. And he said, the message is, follow at Jason Azar. He wanted to promote himself on Twitter. And mm -hmm. so anyone who, who Twittered that out, he was gonna give his Rolodex of bloggers. So you get all his contacts of bloggers. Mm -hmm. And you did that, what'd you think of the list? I have it on my computer. I haven't looked through it so much. It's a pretty good list. Lots of familiar names. I looked through it. I might be able to find some of those people directly on my own, but it would be too much work. I'm glad that he sent that out. It is a lot of work. All right, so there it is. If you weren't there, here are just five, uh, actually including the one that Olivia gave us. That's six points from the event. Next time, come out to Mixergy. We're doing these forums all the time. You get great people, great speakers yes. who give you information. I always tell them, we go over this stuff before. I want to make sure that my speakers are really well prepared. And I always say, give my audience information right. they can use within a week and that they could see measurable results. Right. So you feel we did that with uh, this Mixergy forum? I do. And not only that, but you can present your company from the audience uh, to use as a mini case study. That's right. I keep pointing to people in the audience because I want information that can really be used. And I want to see it go from the hypothetical to, to the actual. All right, one more thing, Olivia. I always have, we can't see it because now I've got a second person, but let's let's take a look. I always have a sign behind me. Do you think this works, these signs? Like Are they it. kind of whimsical? I like it. Yeah? Can I admit to you that I stole that from Gary Vaynerchuk from uh, Wine Library TV? He does it on a black blackboard I do it on printouts 
It's good. Right? It doesn't yeah. take away anything that I stole no, an idea. No, even, um, it fits with your message. Clipboard and all. All right. All right. I'm Andrew Warner uh, from Mixergy.com, my girlfriend Olivia, and we'll both see you at a Mixergy event. Thanks, Olivia. You're welcome. All right, then.